Hello Universe, this is Gypsy. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. This is my April update for a Pantastic Ladies project called Pan as Old as Time. In this project, we've pulled our oldest palette out of our collection and we're going to work on it all year from January 1st to December 31st of 2019 to reach our goal on it. It might be to pan it out, it might be to pan certain colors, it may be just to get used to reach touch. Our goals are individual selections. I've chosen to attempt to pan mine completely out and my oldest palette, I swear to use the oldest palette in our group, it's a 1992 Avon palette and it had two, four, six, eight eyeshadows, two blushes, and then I added product in as I would finish pans out to complement this project. So I have removed two pans out of this project. The first pan had a um, top or brown so this one's completely empty and in its place I glued in a, a light pink color. There used to be a space where a wand would rest and I glued three complementary colors into that space just to make it easier for application on work days and I've panned out one of those colors and replaced it with another cream color. So I'm going to show this to you. I've got two little pans that I've removed and I've got two products that I've glued in its place and I've also been cobbling the black and the green together to make an olive because they're two colors that I've struggled to use and then I'll tell you well I might, I might as well tell you now I chose a color to work on all month to set my eyeliner and it was also an olive not the one that I, co I cobbled and I've reached pan on it so I'll show you this now I'll talk about this this is the newest pan this is the one that I've worked on all month to set the brown eyeliner that I wear every day on the upper lid and the lower lid um, and that eyeliner is in a project called Painting My Mental Health. So I'd apply my eyeliner and then I'd set it with this olive. I was setting it with brown or I was setting it with turquoise. You can see that I hit pan on those two in my last checkup. So now I've hit pan on this one. This is the empty tray that I keep when I want to cobble these two together. But because I've been setting the eyeliner with that, I've I've tried to also smoke the corners and use it as a transition set shade above, but I did cobble it and I have used what I cobbled. It tends to last about, it'll last the month when I cobble the two together. It's really, really soft when I do that. This is a shimmery brown. I like the color. I like to wear it by itself on its own, just over the lid, one and done. So I haven't reached into that that much this month or these two because I've been focusing on that one. This is the color I glued in when I took this empty out. And that's just um, maybe to set the eye primer from the lid all the way to the brow. I've glued this one in when that one was done and they are very similar in color and they are definitely similar in use. This is a wider color than that one. This one seems to have a little bit of frost in it. This one's definitely matte. This is either a Sally Girl or Elf product that I glued in. So a wand used to rest there. I just put these colors in and that one into this palette to make morning application easier. I have expanded this pan tremendously and I'm starting to reach in again 
to the redder of the blushes. These two are blushes. They're densely packed. They're hard packed. Um, and I tried, I saw the, uh, I believe it's called the watercolor blush application. I played with that a little bit this morning. I don't even think that you can see the difference in my blush application. Um, maybe see a little bit of highlighter here and a little bit of contouring there. But I did incorporate these two colors along with actually, I think, three other blushes just to play with the technique. It was a new technique to me. So, I am still loving this palette. I am still enjoying reaching for it every single day. I wear it seven days a week. Um, I'm not going to target these two guys because I don't like the way they look on me, but I will continue to scrape them together and cobble them into this pan and make an olive. Um, I'm just probably going to now that I've hit pan on all three of those, I'm just going to play with them. I'm not going to focus on them necessarily. I'm just going to um, use them at my pleasure. I'm, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and cobble these again. I'm going to go ahead and scrape these together and blend them and franken blend them together into this, which is why I'm not going to pull that out. I need it to put these two together when I franken pan. So, um, this is my progress so far, guys. It performs well, doesn't crease, blends well, no complaints about it. Um, 1992 eyeshadow product. Um, doesn't have anything weird going on with it, like a smell or anything like that. Um, I clean it with alcohol. I spritz alcohol across the top of it. Haven't had any irritations, anything at all. This is going to be the first um, eyeshadow palette I will have completely panned out of my collection. I've panned singles before. I've used up singles before when I fell in love with a single. But this is going to be the first one that I've panned. I will tell you, I'm just now noticing this has a very deep dip in it. So if I were to concentrate on just using that one instead of reaching over into this one or this one, I could possibly hit pan on it in the month of May. We're coming up into much hotter weather in South Carolina. Some of my friends are talking about snow. Some of my northern friends are talking about snow on the internet, um, on Facebook. Uh, we're running around in shorts, flip-flops, and tank tops. It's um in the 80s, the mid 80s in South Carolina. I've switched foundations so I don't melt. I'm trying to see if I can make it until June 21st, the solstice, to see if if it'll work, if it'll last. The reason I'm using it is because it's a uh, it's a aerosol. So that always affects the use and performance of this when I change other products. Um, I'll be back in a month, in May. Um, I'm sorry, it would be June. I'll be back in June. This is my May update. I'll be back in June to let you know what progress I'm making. Um, and I'm going to cobble more of these colors together um, and, and continue to, to wear it and use it and enjoy it like I've been wearing it, using it and enjoying it. I have a series of videos each week where I pull in a palette. It's um, Pan That Palette of the Week, and I choose it to go with this so that this project does not get stale, tired, old. Some people get sick of their projects and they just want to declutter. I don't do that because this is kind of like the base for all the other things that I can play with. So, guys, I'll see you again in a month. If you haven't subscribed please feel free to I think it's worth a watch just to see what I think is probably the oldest palette in our group <laughs> have a great day guys and I'll see you again in a month